who's known for being unknown. Very few people can say they know or have ever seen the world famous street artist known as Banksy, but they certainly recognize his work. As Art Week is about to begin, a highly acclaimed exhibition called The Art of Banksy is making its U.S. debut here in South Florida at the Magic City Studios. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo has a preview of this eye opening exhibit that she says is a must see. Here at Magic City Studios in Little Haiti, it's the U.S. premiere of The Art of Banksy, an acclaimed exhibition showcasing 80 original works by the intriguing, elusive, and most talked about street artist in modern history. It's curated by the Bristol-born artist, former agent, and personal photographer of 12 years, Steve Lazarides. When Steve was commissioned to photograph Banksy back in 1997, it was imperative that no one would actually see him, so all of the photos of him are blurred or disguised. He could be walking right around us right now. We don't know. She's over there. <laughs> it's the cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Banksy is not known to the average person. No. To anyone, really. No, not really to anyone. He's, been, he's always been secretive from the very beginning. And it wasn't, um, I think people think it was this big, like, self-promotion campaign. It was not. Where it wasn't. It was self-preservation at the beginning because he was prolific in Bristol. And really, he kept, he kept himself underground so just to stop him getting arrested. Banksy is recognized as a political activist. His graffiti-influenced stencil technique, sometimes with irreverent slogans, always generates attention. This piece, called The Balloon Girl, is arguably the most iconic. It was a painting on a wall like this. It was just a stencil, so he did, he did these all over London. They got dropped out everywhere, and then it got made into a screen print, and then he made a canvas of it, and, you know, the, the image is now recognizable worldwide. Equally famous is the Flower thrower. The flower thrower quite obviously was the cover of his book that sold, I think at the last count, sold 1.75 million copies. That one? Yeah. But Steve says Banksy never started out with money as his goal. His art was meant for the public to enjoy. You know, originally the screenplay sold for 50 bucks. So wow. the, the, the girl in blue one is now 175,000 bucks. The print? Yeah. Back in early October, the art world went berserk when a canvas of that image, which was auctioned off for 1.3 million at Sotheby's, shredded in front of a live audience. The event caused much speculation and debate. I kind of know where he was coming from, so he was trying to thumb his nose at the art world and make a commentary on his prices uh -huh. and how ludicrous it was. But all he did was double his prices. It's, you know, but I still think that's probably one of the finest bits of performance art I've ever seen. Nothing in this 20,000 square foot warehouse is for sale. All of it, from photographs to canvases, sculptures, screen prints and more, have all come from collectors. This is a rare opportunity to see this widespread collection of thought-provoking art. What do you think is his lasting mark to art in general? I think he helped the general public feel that they could like art without being intimidated and into like collecting artwork who never thought that they were art collectors. The Art of Banksy is on tomorrow through February 29th right here at Magic City Studios in Little Haiti. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Love his message and Lisa wanted us to point out that uh, local organizations got together to give 50,000 tickets away so local students can enjoy the exhibit. It is a haunting, a haunting images, aren't Absolutely, they? Yeah. It looks like a must see. I agree yeah. with Lisa.